The European Union's decision to impose a partial embargo on Russian oil immediately led to a decline in the euro. The pound sterling also followed its counterpart. The fact is that it's still unknown where Europe will buy oil that is essential for its economy. Although it's planning to use renewable energy resources, it's hardly possible to replace Russian oil in such a short period of time. In fact, Europe may need years to implement its plan. According to the project of the sixth package of sanctions, the European Union intends to ban Russia's crude imports within six months. Notably, in the last few months, the Union has failed to come to an agreement to be the countries of the Persian Gulf. In other words, this decision may destroy the European economy. The fact is that about one-third of extracted oil is used for fuel and power production. The lion's share of oil undergoes deeper processing and is used in the production of vital products, from a uh, bitumen, which is necessary for the construction of roads, to all kinds of uh, preserving agents used in the food, cosmetic and pharmaceutical industries. Renewable energy resources are unable to replace oil. Thus, European industry has every reason to stagnate. Uncertainty over the date when the embargo will come uh, into force was the only factor that prevented the euro from a deeper drop. In addition, traders are waiting for responsive measures from the Russian Federation. However, the euro may face numerous obstacles, even if Russia does not respond. Thus, according to preliminary estimates, in May the eurozone inflation accelerated to 8.1% from 7.4%. Even the most pessimistic analysts had foreseen a smaller rise to 7.7%. In other words, inflationary pressure on the European economy is rising very fast. Meanwhile, the European Commission is planning to invest up to 300 billion euro to reduce its uh, um, dependence on the Russian uh, fossil fuels. Now, it's unclear how the European Union will allocate such a sum amid the budget deficit. The only way out is um, to start printing money again. In other words, the QE program will be replaced by another. This, in turn, will boost inflation and cause depreciation of the euro. The pound sterling will also lose in value due to the euro's influence via the US dollar index. What do we see on the trading charts? The euro-dollar pair approached the resistance level of 1.0800 and 1.0850. After that, the volume of long positions dropped, thus causing a local decline. The resistance area of 1.0800 and 1.0850 is still exerting pressure on buyers. This fact may lead to the end of the correctional movement. If the predictions come true, the euro may return to 1.0636. According to the alternative scenario, the correction will continue. However, this will become possible only if the pair consolidates above 1.0850 on the daily chart. Meanwhile, the pound-dollar pair stagnated slightly below the resistance level of 1.2670. This auction signals a slowdown in the uptrend and a decline in the volume of long positions. Under the current conditions, traders have focused on the sideways channel of 1.2600 and 1.2700. The price hovering within these levels may point to the accumulation process, thus spurring acceleration. Against the backdrop, traders should apply the breakout strategy. A break of either limit should be proved on the 4-hour chart. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial markets. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. See you soon.